in detail. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, uh, Pinky. Thank you very much. So let us start the session. Again, Dr. Monica will be helping me out with the presentation. So uh, yeah, as has already been uh, told by Ms. Pinky that this session will be on digital resources for teaching, learning and assessment. To move forward in uh, the next four days, you need to understand what are the different forms of uh, uh, e-content so that you uh, get to know the forms and in the days to come you will be getting an exposure to developing these resources uh, uh, we to uh, please uh, apna, uh, mic mute kar dije. participants request hai, so that there, is, there are no background noises in the session and Very others well. can concentrate Very well, Please mute your mics. Hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> so that uh, you get to know the different types of resources and in the days to come, you can relate uh, with uh, today's presentation and uh, learn the development of digital content with the um, help of demonstrations on uh, the various digital resources and also demonstration of tools and hands-on. So the tools will be demonstrated like uh, if you are being told how to develop a mind map. So you will uh, get a demo on the mind map tool. How can we develop a mind map? followed by a hands-on which you need to do, which, which will be a practice session. So that is how we will go about. So let us uh, now understand what are the different forms. So, so, uh, slide show. Can everybody see the presentation properly? Yeah, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. You can yes, see it in full uh, full screen. Side me will be a day. Side me. So I would request Dr. Monica to reshare the presentation. Usko <clears throat> project karlo. Next slide. <clears throat> So what do we Uh, I think ma'am has dropped out, so she'll be connecting in a minute.
पिछले स्लाइड में हाँ यही सो या आई हैव रिज्यूम्ड माय हम्म होप एवरीबॉडी कैन हियर मी पिंकी मेक शर दैट माय वॉइस इज कमिंग Yes, ma'am. It's clear. Yes, ma'am. It's clear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma clear. Okay. So, uh, digital uh, resources are e-text, video, audio, voice narration, music, sound effects, images, and graphics, singly or in combination, to create a fictional or non-fictional media or multimedia narration. Uh, is a uh, digital resources if we have a textual content but it is in the form of an electronic text digital text uh, so that text document text resource with all will also uh, mm, uh, called uh, known as uh, digital content or e content so um, all the other forms also if they are available digitally in digital format so they are digital content next please so these are the various forms of e content so uh, you can see a list here mind maps maps simulations audio video advertisement interactive media infographics photographs so you might be aware of these terms with whatever term you are not familiar to you can indicate in the chat box mind maps maps simulations audio video advertisement interactive media infographics photographs next slide please then animations cartoons slide shows timelines diagrams flow diagrams charts graphs so these are various forms of e content or digital content so go on to the previous slide let us uh, see the list again uh, mind maps maps simulations audio video advertisement interactive media infographics photographs next animations cartoons slide shows timelines diagrams flow diagrams charts graphs so let Uh, uh, Dr. Monica, please check the chat box. So I asked a question: Which uh, form of digital content you are not aware? Of? So please mention simulation, simulation timelines, time infographics. infographics. So these are the three uh, <clears throat> types forms which I get: cartoons. Next. Okay. Mm, let me note down. They have mentioned simulations. Simulations and uh, cartoons. Cartoons. Infographics. Infographics. Timelines. Timelines. Simulations. Coffee log literature. Infographic also. टाइमलाइंस काफी लोगों ने लिखा है इंफोग्राफिक सिमुलेशन इंफोग्राफिक कार्टून ओके आई एम लुकिंग एट योर चैट्स ओके ओके सो ऑल दी फॉर्म्स ऑफ डिजिटल कॉन्टेंट विल बी एक्सप्लेन योर and you will mind map also mind map and slide slide show this is the slide show somebody has written slide show also so slide show is what we are uh, i am taking the presentation through so this is the slide show okay it's very simple the uh, <clears throat> presentations that you uh, makes that you make are slide presentation only so uh, the presentation i am taking you through to is also a slide show so you will get example of each and every uh, resource listed over here so let us move on to the next part of 
presentation. So can we uh, move on to the next slide? Okay. Yeah. So this is uh, an example of mind map. So whatever content, content uh, question we will take in the next part. Question have also started coming. Difference between diagram and flow diagram. I will explain this in between my presentation. So Dr. Monica, keep a check on the kind of queries which are coming and kind of uh, uh, elaboration they want. So you can see here on the screen, the example of a, a mind map. chat box So mind map is something, when you uh, select a concept to teach, so you uh, have in mind how you will go about teaching that uh, particular concept. What are the different aspects of a particular concept? So you have a image in mind say, that how you uh, will uh, unroll that particular concept. So you have the main topic, the subtopics, and the uh, sub subtopics related to the subtopic. So that is how we um, uh, we unfold each and every concept. So mind maps can be used for the presentation of your lesson. Also, you can also make presentation using a mind map. So here you can see common food groups. There is a mind map based on common food groups. So the presenter, whosoever has developed this. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Please mute yourself. Everyone. Uh, yes, this, uh, yes, I, I'm looking. Ma'am, you are not audible. Uh, you mute everyone at the same time. You mute when you are auto-mute, then I will mute. Okay, okay. Uh, so just uh, take care of that. Okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so this is not flawless that I know. This is not developed by me. I have taken it from somewhere and it is uh, projected here to also uh, reiterate the point that different people have different uh, visualization of the concept that they are going to teach. This particular person who has developed this uh, mind map has grouped it into vegetables, fruits, grains, beans, and legumes, then water, confectionaries, uh, meat and dairy. So you can also group these food items uh, based on their nutritional values in vegetarian and non-vegetarian non food items uh, and also based on the nutritional value. The idea is to give you an idea of mind map. And there are a lot of free and open source tools using which you can create such mind maps. One is uh, the, the two tools which I use is free mind and free plane. There are a lot of other tools. And in the days to come, you will be given a demo of uh, one such tool using which you can create a mind map. And also you will be given an hands-on exposure to the development of mind map. Mm -hmm. So this was about mind map. Next. Next slide, please. Ah, so here uh, we will uh, be looking at an example of infographics and which can also be uh, called a flow diagram. 
you can also uh, call it an infographic and also a, a flow diagram because it has a flow and it has diagrams also an infographic the definition of infographic is where information is projected using some graphics also it's a combination of information and graphic this particular content can be grouped into infographic and flow diagram because it, because it has a well defined flow also so uh, it is based on one fln uh, learning outcome which is for evs the learner identifies relationships with and among family members so that is the learning outcomes outcome which need to be achieved using this infographic so this infographic is not the only thing by which we can achieve this learning outcome uh, there is a bite sized video also based on the same learning outcome worksheet assessment sheet so using a combination of digital content you can achieve a particular learning outcome so here there is an example of infographic so rani's family tree you can see on the screen a family tree which is rani's family tree and you can see a learning outcome also with and among family member identification of relationships with and among family member so you can see here rani is uh, projected at the top and then flow a uh, diagram or this infographic works like that so you can see a uh, two sets of grandparents that she has dada dadi and nana nani paternal grandparents and maternal grandparents and after that you can see uh, their offsprings which is uh, her papa and uh, her uh, papa's sister in north we call this relation a bua and her husband and their offspring which is rani's cousin so uh, paternal grandparents their off offsprings and uh, then their offspring uh, here you can see uh, the maternal grandparents then uh, mother is the uh, rani's mother is the offspring of paternal grandparents then uh, her mom's brother in north we call uh, him mama her wife and uh, their offspring which is maternal uh, cousin of rani from maternal side and uh, here is rani and her brother so you can see with the help of is this infographic relationships uh, of different family members with rani and the relationship among the family members also uh, next part of this infographic is another infographic which is shalini's family tree because by using one infographic we cannot tell all the relation uh, ships uh because in the uh, previous infographic and we go on to the previous we showed uh, the uh, girl child of um, the papa's sister but in the next slide we showed papa's elder brother then in the next infographic we showed papa's uh, younger brother because as per the constitutional norm we have to add her to the small family norm so we haven't showed more than two offsprings of maternal and paternal grandparents if we uh, <clears throat> uh, show more than two it will be against the constitution constitutional norms to add her to the small family norm so that is why three infographics were made to show all the relationships uh by using uh, different uh, offsprings of maternal and paternal grandparents so that we get to know what relationship what is called elder brother of papa what is called younger brother of papa 
who is uh, the uh, how we address the sister of uh, our papa so that is how with the help of three relation uh, uh, infographics this a uh, learning outcome is uh, addressed to so this is an example of infographic i think now the question uh, which were coming in the chat about infographic and flow diagram is uh, addressed can we move on to the next uh, slide yeah so timeline also some of you also mentioned what are timelines wherever we need to deal uh, with a chronology a chronological sequence we need to uh, have a timeline because timeline is the visual representation of a chronology in my previous session uh, i mentioned uh, i used a timeline uh, uh, about policy direction this is another version of the same timeline so that was also a timeline and this one is also a timeline so you can create timelines using a variety of uh, uh, ways uh, through graphic also <clears throat> it, it's a graphic resource so you we also have the templates uh, such templates also available so you can use such templates and create these guidelines there are interactive guidelines also which unfold like a mind map so we can also have uh, <clears throat> those guidelines so here you can see the policy directions with the help of a timeline next slide please <clears throat> so this is the example of a diagram so somebody asked a question in the chat what is the difference between a flow diagram and a diagram so uh, this is a diagram uh, because for this particular concept which is the uh, uh, water for this which is on the concept of water fall formation not audible karen why somebody is writing not audible i am not audible uh can anybody tell me if i am audible or not you are audible okay so maybe there is some problem at yes, uh, their end <clears throat> somebody from ladakh has mentioned so please please check your uh, audio of your computer bring it to uh, the uh, full so that you get a proper audio yeah so uh, um, this is uh, the concept of waterfall formation and that was about family tree so a flow was needed in for that particular concept but here for this concept there is no need but the, the concept doesn't demand a kind of flow to come so a diagram is the suitable resource for explaining this so this is a diagram so here you can see uh, a hard rock and a soft rock and water flowing uh, over a hard rock so with the help of diagram uh, we can uh, see how waterfalls are formed so when water flows over the hard rock and it touches the soft rock also so the soft rock uh, gets um, eroded slowly and gradually because of undercutting uh, due to the force of water so soft rock is soft so it cuts get cuts uh, faster due to the undercutting and it erodes and over a period of time there is a overhang of hard rock over the soft rock uh and uh, with the uh, force of water this hard rock also gets collapsed over a period of time that is why when you see a waterfall you will notice a lot of broken rocks uh, beneath a waterfall so that is how a waterfall is uh, formed uh, <clears throat> uh so uh, there are uh, very uh, useful animations also on the same concept if you google uh, waterfall formation animation on waterfall formation you will 
get to know uh, this uh, particular explanation through a animation also. So uh, I think now what is diagram is clear and what is the difference between a flow diagram and diagram is also uh, clear. So um, the concepts like landform formation are such which occurs over centuries and explaining such concepts, such phenomena, which occur over centuries is very difficult to explain verbally. So here comes the value and importance of digital content so that you can make them visualize to some extent the process of landform formation, how valleys are formed, how waterfalls are formed, how glaciers are formed. So without making the people visualize, because all such landforms are not in the surroundings of each and every learner we deal with. Maybe in the hilly areas, uh, children get to know, they, 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 they see waterfalls in their surroundings. In some of the area, they see plateau. In some of the areas, they see lakes. In some of the areas, they see glaciers, but not all. So without the help of any content, uh, it is very difficult to make students comprehend such concept. Uh, next slide, please. Uh -huh. So somebody has asked about cartoons also. So here you can see uh, an example of cartoon and it can be used to warm up the class before taking them through uh, a very difficult concept, which is evolution of species. Evolution of species is the concept which is uh, actually very difficult to uh, teach, com comprehend and understand. So to warm up the class for this particular concept, we can use a cartoon. So you can see here, there is a picture uh, hanged on a tree in a jungle where dinosaur is shown, cartoon of dinosaur is shown and it is written missing since a billion years. And the other animals of the jungle is wondering, watching the picture and wondering where this species has vanished. So using this uh, diagram in the beginning of the lesson, then you can bring them to more complex phenomena related to the uh, uh, evolution or uh, uh, of a species and also the species which got extinct from this uh, uh, planet. Uh, next slide. So this is an example of comic strip <clears throat> using cartoons. There are cartoons also, but cartoons are placed together to make a comic strip. So this is available in the folder also. If it is not playing, you can uh, project it from the folder. Just wait for a while. Hmm, yeah, first, first one, the very first resource. Yeah. Hello. <clears throat> so you can see here uh, an example of a comic strip uh, kill the acidity the concept is kill the acidity uh, the, the title of the resource is kill the acidity but it uh, uh, take us through uh, some of the phenomena 
uh, which are there in our science textbook. So uh, here you can see uh, the boy. Uh, uh, here, yeah, I'm feeling burning sensation in my stomach. I think you are suffering from acidity, the girl said. Then the boy said, acidity. Uh, yes, if you have excess of acid in your stomach, you feel burning sensation. So in the next um, slide, you can see. Acid in stomach, but acids are corrosive, the boy is saying. Uh, yes, you are right. Even a drop of acid from our stomach uh, from our stomach is put on a piece of wood. It uh, can uh, make a hole in the uh, wood. Oh, if the acid in our stomach is so powerful, why it does not make hole in our stomach, the boy is saying. Uh, we must uh, thank our stomach's epithelial cells for protecting us. So here the concept of epithelial cell is introduced with the help of a very interesting uh, comic strip and also uh, why um, our stomach the, the hole is not created in our stomach when when we are having acid in our stomach so uh, epithelial cells what are epithelial cells yes uh, epithelial cells produce mucus that coat the inside wall of the stomach, which protect our stomach from acid. So here you can see epithelial cell and what are the functions, what is the function of epithelial cell is introduced with the help of a comic strip. Then the boy asks, uh, uh, how can I get rid of acidity? Then the girl suggests having a um, glass of Cold milk can uh, make you, uh, can, can relieve you, can give you relief from the uh, acidity. So uh, that is how this comic strip goes and it introduces uh, the concept of epithelial cells in our stomach and how acidity uh, occurs in a very interesting, in interesting uh, manner. So can we, we move on to the next? And this uh, uh, kind of resource can be created using a PowerPoint, uh, the presentation also. So any presentation software that you have, you can have these comic strips drawn, then you can place them on the um, presentation. And you have to, uh, if you want to add music, you can add music. You can also uh, indicate a time after which you want next slide to come. And then what all you need to do, you need to save your presentation as video. So such output will come if you uh, save uh, it as video. Uh, yeah, so comic strip we have already seen, cartoon we have already seen. So here is a example of simulation. Here you can see uh, amoeba, which is a single cell organism. So how digestion occur in amoeba is shown with the help of a simulation here. You can see the uh, how the process goes, how digestive enzymes are added, and the <clears throat> food waste also come out of amoeba. So this is the process, a simulation. I will be showing you some more simulation. Uh, yeah, next, please. Uh, or simulation, hi dekh lete pehle. Uh, wo list hai, usme end ke do aur dikha diji, so that they get to know the example of more simulation. So simulations are something which can give you not real, but near to real image of uh, something. So I will be showing you some more simulations. Uh, so here you can see uh, the uh, process of uh, digestive digestion in human uh, body. So you can see here how food uh, travels uh, in uh, 
large intestine, small intestine, and how the food wastes come out after digestion. So this is the simulation. Uh, there is an app called Bio Digital Human. So you can install those apps in your mobile and you will uh, uh, get uh, to know uh, the processes of uh, whatever occurs in human body, how images are formed uh, through our eyes, how we can see the process of uh, uh, seeing thing, how eye helps us watch the world, how, uh, what, what is the function of ear, so how sounds are um, listened to us by the use of ear, how heart functions, how digestion occurs, how, how respiration occurs, as a concept like that. So uh, we can also see the process of respiration. So here you can see how our lungs shrink and float in the process of <clears throat> respiration. So uh, next, a call hai jo hum dek sakte hai, uh, jo social science se related hai, and that is uh, the, um, Mm -hmm. uh, this is one another example. Ek bar pause kar do isko. Uh, uh, another form of simulation which is called augmented reality content. So we uh, for this also we have uh, an app called Cure. You can install the Cure app. Q U I V E R. It is also written. Uh, here, Cure app, then you have to go on to Cure site. There is a site also, uh, Cure site. So uh, there you can get a lot of um, uh, sheets, <clears throat> uh, outline of many uh, concepts which are based on education. Yeah, bio digital human, link uh, DJ app can now in the chat box. So uh, by scanning the sheet through a mobile app, Cure, uh, it will appear as 3D or the sheet will appear as uh, 3D. The same technology we have used in our textbook also to uh, get the AR experiences of the concept which need 3D visualization. Because process of digestion also need a 3D visualization to comprehend it properly. Like that, there are several other processes like uh, the uh, mm, uh, earth is spherical, but we see earth as flat. We don't see earth as spherical. So to understand such concept, we need to uh, have a 3D visualization to make that concept more comprehensible. Solar system, the existence of universe, which we cannot actually see. So you might have visited um, uh, planetoriums also. So in the planetoriums, the simulation of universe is shown, parts of universe is shown. We don't know how uh, broad the universe is. We know parts of it also, uh, parts of it only. So in the planetoriums, you see parts of uh, universe. And there are very interesting mobile apps also where you can... Uh, get a simulation of the solar system, other celestial bodies, and also about Earth, how eclipse occurs and all. So here I am showing you a simulation of augmented reality-based simulation of a, um, uh, you know, what is the concept of a um, uh, volcano. volcano. Volcanic eruption, because it is not possible that we see a volcanic eruption. Everybody can see a vo volcanic eruption. So augmented reality based simulations are a good resource for that. Let us play it so that you can see it.
So now this is being scanned. The sheet turned red. So we are scanning it through a mobile app. I have created a video to give you an idea. So you can see the uh, mobile. Mobile app is scanning. And here you can see a snow clad volcano. And volcano is And how it's error. So, uh, yeah, simulation, a lot of people asked what are simulations. So I tried giving you various examples of simulation so that you get to know what are simulations. Uh, what is there in the next slide? <clears throat> yeah, so this is an example of image. So you can see here, this is uh, good for uh, the learner who, uh, are in a foundational uh, literacy and numeracy stage. So you can see an uh, image where a lot of kitchen utensils are hidden. So uh, it is a kind of uh, the, the gamification, the aspect of gamification is applied here so that uh, uh, the student get to identify the kitchen utensils hidden in this image. The next image is also similar where uh, there are a lot of sports and play articles are uh, hidden. Next slide. So such images can take us uh, on to n number of learning when we, uh, uh, we discuss with them uh, image or diagram ke beech mein difference somebody is asking. I will address all the, all the questions at the end. So here you can see uh, the uh, one image uh, which, in which a lot of play and sports articles are hidden. So if you want to discuss with children the rules of different games, uh, what are the games of their interest, they can pick and choose from here. Then you can elaborate upon them. You can uh, teach them the rules of game. You can also teach them uh, in which sports uh, India has won uh, medals in various competitions in which games are women players are also excelling. All such concept we can teach with the help of such image. Next, please. Previous picture, physical and Yeah. Previous one. <clears throat> So you can see these images. Next. Next. So uh, we can also make photographs also a uh, very good learning resource. So we visit various, various places for amusement purpose also. Uh, but if we um, try to click the photographs in a way with a, a thinking of creating them into a good learning resource also, we can do it while on a amusement trip also. So here you can see um, in this resource, I have created a video 
out of uh, these photographs. If we do little research on the photographs we click, we can make them a good learning resources. Uh, so here are some photographs of birds and animals. I did uh, a little research on them to get to know their scientific names, their migratory habits, their uh, uh, name, uh, and all uh, such little, little information to make them work. So here you can see the uh, copper smith barbet, scientific name, its alternative name, its habitat. And if some birds have migratory habits also, we can add migratory habits. इसको थोड़ा हमने फास्ट स्क्रॉल कर रहे हैं दी आइडिया इज जस्ट टू गिव यू एन आइडिया ऑन हाउ फोटोग्राफ्स कैन बी क्रिएटेड इन टू अ गुड लर्निंग रिसोर्स सो लाइक दैट वी कैन क्रिएट दी पोस्टेड पोस्टल स्टैम्प्स आल्सो इन टू अ गुड लर्निंग रिसोर्स बिकॉज ईच एंड एवरी पोस्टल स्टैम्प्स ऑल्सो इन आर टाइम वी हैड दिस हॉबी टू कलेक्ट स्टैम्प्स पोस्टल स्टैम्प्स if we do a little research on the postal stamps also we can uh, have the postal stamps also into uh, created into a good learning resource yeah there's uh, yeah do we have the video of postal stamps also here in my folder i don't know whether it is there in this folder or not इट्स ऑल राइट ओके इसके बाद क्या है नेक्स्ट हाँ एनिमेशन में वी कैन सी फायर वाला फायर वाला है इसमें अच्छा ठीक है एनी एनिमेशन वी कैन पिक अप This is the learning outcome. You uh, are now watching example of a bike cycle. Animation we will look at. कहानी के चित्र पर बातचीत करते हैं. कहानी का नाम है. कोई बात नहीं. अली. बच्चों, आप बताइए कि इस चित्र में आपको क्या-क्या दिखाई दे रहा है. दीदी, इस चित्र में एक लड़का है. और दो गमले दो नहीं तीन गमले हैं और लोटा भी है अरे नहीं महक तीसरा गमला नहीं मटका है जिसे फोड़कर उसमें पौधा लगाया गया है मेरे यहाँ भी मटके में गेंदे का पौधा लगा है नल भी है यहाँ और ढेर सारे पौधे दिखाई दे रहे हैं इस चित्र में हाँ हाँ सही कहा लेकिन हम सब ने तो अभी सिर्फ यह बताया है कि क्या दिख रहा है लेकिन इसमें तो कुछ और भी हो रहा है यह कौन बताएगा ये मैं बताता हूँ एक लड़का गमलों में पानी डाल रहा है बहुत बढ़िया है मन अच्छा अब आप सभी अंदाजा लगाइए इस चित्र के आधार पर कहानी क्या होगी किसके बारे में होगी कहानी लड़के के बारे में होगी 
जिसे पेड़ पौधों से प्यार होगा और वह उनका बहुत ख्याल रखता होगा मुझे लगता है यह कहानी पौधों के बारे में होगी जिन्हें लड़का रोज पानी देता होगा पौधे और लड़के में दोस्ती होगी और यह कहानी उनके दोस्ती की होगी आप सब ने बहुत अच्छे से बताया है अब इस कहानी को सुनते और देखते हैं कि आप सब ने जो अंदाजा लगाया है वो ठीक है या कहानी कुछ और ही है so these are bite size Ali videos that we are watching padhai kar raha tha tabhi uski nazar bahar nal par padi nal se pani zameen par tapak raha tha aas paas ka farsh geela ho gaya tha ali ne ek lota nal ke niche rakh diya pani ab lote mein girne laga thodi der mein lota pani se bhar gaya ali ne lote ka पानी पौधों में डाल दिया सो दर्निंग आउटकम वॉज दस्ट वाला वीडियो देखो उस पर लर्निंग आउटकम है सो यू कैन सी दी लर्निंग आउटकम कहानी सुनने से पहले चित्र पर गपशप Uh, before uh, listening uh, to the story uh, uh, talking about uh, the uh, uh, picture talking about the images so there was an image of ali and there was several plants around them and children were discussing what is shown in the images and in the later part what story they have created based on the image was shown through a bite size video Uh, to achieve the learning outcome kahani uh, sunne se pehle chitra par gapshap so before listening to the story have a image of the story and then make children talk about it and this is to enhance the speaking skill of the children post discussion hmm post discussion ha uh-huh. and uh, there is a video on post discussion also pre discussion then story and then post discussion kaisi lagi sabko ye kahani bahut achhi mujhe bhi achhi lagi kahani sirf achhi lagi ya kuch samajh mein bhi aaya ha riri sab samajh mein aaya very good to bataiye ali kahan padhai kar raha tha ali ghar mein padhai kar raha tha shabash ali ki nazar nal par kyon padi क्योंकि नल का पानी फर्श पर टपक रहा था वाह बहुत बढ़िया अच्छा अब ये बताइए कि अली ने नल के नीचे लोटा क्यों रखा पानी बर्बाद ना हो इसलिए उसने उसके नीचे लोटा रख दिया दीदी क्या मैं एक सवाल पूछूं? हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल पूछो अली ने पानी को बचाने के लिए लोटे की बजाय नल को ही बंद क्यों नहीं कर दिया शाबाश महक बहुत ही बढ़िया सवाल पूछा है आपने तो कौन बताएगा इसका जवाब मैं बताता हूँ हो सकता है नल खराब हो इसलिए अली ने नल को बंद करने के बजाय लोटा रख दिया हम्म हाँ ऐसा हो सकता है शाबाश अगला सवाल दीदी मैं पूछूंगा और मेरा सवाल है पानी को बचाने के लिए हमें क्या क्या करना चाहिए इसका जवाब पहले मैं बताती हूँ नल को खुला नहीं छोड़ना चाहिए टपकते हुए नल को ठीक करवाना चाहिए बर्तन या हाथ वगैरह धोते समय लगातार नल को नहीं चलाना चाहिए और हाँ धीमी रफ्तार से नल को चलाना चाहिए और नहाने के लिए बाल्टी और मग्गे का इस्तेमाल करना चाहिए बहुत खूब अब मुझे भी समझ आ गया कि सभी ने कहानी को बहुत अच्छे से सुना और समझा है सो थ्रू दीज थ्री बाइट साइज वीडियो यू हैव लर्न दी प्री एंड पोस्ट डिस्कशन बेस्ड ऑन अ स्टोरी दैट चिल्ड्रन डू 
and in the meanwhile a lot of values to save uh, for saving water is also inculcated through the uh, in in a very few uh, minutes when we watched these three videos so now we can see example of an animation Hi friends, my name is Anjali. Let's talk about traffic signals. We all see traffic signals when we are on the road. What do you think these traffic signals are for? Traffic signals help everyone using the road to know when they have to stop, wait or go. So this there is an example of a graphic-based and animation. a traffic signal. These are red, amber or yellow and green. Each color has a special meaning. For drivers, red light means stop your vehicle. Amber light means wait and green light means go. Pedestrians must only cross a road when the traffic signal is red. This is the time when vehicles have stopped to let people safely cross a road. Sometimes we see the figure of a man on the traffic signal. This signal is for pedestrians. When this man turns green, it means we can safely cross the road from the zebra crossing. When the man turns flashing green or red, we must wait until the man turns green again. We must always cross the road with an adult and we must hold their hand while on the road. So friends, always remember, safety first. Bye. Next slide. So uh, now I will be showing you uh, the interactive content and there is a video for interactive content also. I have made a screencast video to uh, show you uh, so that you can get to know a lot of uh, interactive e-content and interactive e-content are very good for uh, self-learning, self-assessment, and also teacher can also use them in the class for the assessment. So you uh, can see here the examples. And these are in different subject areas. अपने भार के बाट को तराजू के दूसरे पलड़े पर रखें। How we uh, weigh using different weights? दुबारा प्रयास करें। So how to weigh two gram, two, two kilos and eight fifty grams using different weights? बहुत अच्छे। Arrange numbers on the ladder in ascending and descending order. Well done. Well done. Well done. Oops, try again. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Identify the occupation. Write the name of occupation in the blank space. Well done.
देखें और पहचाने क्लू को पहचान कर सही विकल्प पर क्लिक करें शांग नाम की यह सभ्यता पीली नदी घाटी के आसपास विकसित हुई यहाँ के लोगों ने लेखन रेशम के कपड़े ईट मिट्टी और लकड़ी के भवन बनाने की शुरुआत की बहुत अच्छे चूचू करती आई चिड़िया जल्दी नाम बताओ भैया पक्षियों के सही नाम को पहचाने बहुत अच्छे so uh, you have watched uh, interactive contents also so uh, <clears throat> how we can use these uh, different type of e content we can use them pre lesson mid lesson and post lesson and it is up to the learning plan that you have developed for yourself keeping in view your own pedagogical style so uh, i will also be taking you through for a while uh for fln content on diksha uh, can we project diksha to show them fln vertical and adult education vertical so here you can see uh, the uh, fln vertical on diksha and if we scroll this uh, page uh, down you can see uh, nipun bharat documents nipun bharat videos uh, regional workshop resources about foundational literacy and numeracy then uh, explore developmental goal wise e content for foundational literacy and numeracy we have three developmental goals which are uh, written over here you can see uh, children uh, maintain good health and well being uh, next is children become children become, children become effective communicators and the third one is children become involved learners and connect with their immediate surroundings so these are the three learning goals for foundational literacy and numeracy and we have uh, learning outcomes uh, related to these three developmental goals so you can see here six classes six boxes where developmental goal wise uh, uh, e resources are developed uh, are uh, housed and you can also uh, access courses for foundational literacy and numeracy if you scroll a bit down so you can see here if you click on to explore it will land on to the courses related to foundational uh, literacy and numeracy uh, if we scroll up let us see how to access the developmental goal wise learning resources we can click on to any class show all the six classes first show uh, okay uh you can click on to developmental goal 3 wo infographic wala i see mai na rani wala infographic and then that video and wala video kaun se learning outcome ke paas hai 6 point evs 6.1 
so in the uh, right hand side you can see all the learning outcomes aligned to developmental goal 3 and i am clicking on to uh, one uh, learning outcome which is for evs 6.1 evs uh, can uh, we see the learning outcome Tina, are you coming with me to the park so the learning outcome is children become involved learners and connect with their immediate surrounding. This is the developmental goal for uh, the learning outcome for one of the learning outcome for developmental goal three. And there is an animation here which you can see on the learning outcome. Children become involved learners and connect with their immediate uh, surroundings. This is the learning um, goal developmental goal and learning outcome. Can we see the learning outcome? The learning outcome is identifies simple observable features of leaves, trunk and bark of plants, animals and birds in immediate surroundings. So the animation is based on this particular learning outcome for developmental goal three for class three. So how uh, you access learning resources? You can see the list of learning outcomes based on a particular developmental goal at the right hand side. And in the left hand side, you can see the learning resource. If we click onto the linked learning resources to a particular learning outcome. Uh, can we play? Ray, mom. I'm so excited. Let's go. Mom, these trees are so different from each other. Yes, dear. Some of them differ from each other, but some have similar characters. Look at these plants, Tina. Their leaves are different in color, but similar in shape. They are elongated. You can call them linear shaped. And this one, it is triangular. Do you remember this shape? Yes, mom. I remember I had studied this shape in my maths class. Oh, mom, mint must be growing around. Its fragrance always attracts me. Then let's find out where they are growing. Ah, I found them. Hey, look here, mom. This is so amazing. Oh, yes. I used to think that only flowers are colorful, but leaves of this plant are so beautiful. Mm. This purple color is so attractive and they are so soft to touch, just like our velvet blanket. Yes, Tina. See, there are other plants also with colorful leaves. They are amazing. Oh, the bark of this tree is so smooth, unlike other trees. It varies. Some trees have smooth bark, some have grooved or bumpy. <coughs> now, let's go back home. Mom. We'll visit the park tomorrow as well. Sure, dear. Oh, mom, look at them. A cat is running after a rat and a dog is running after the cat. <laughs> Good morning, mom. Oh, wow. Which bird is this? This is woodpecker. Let's go to the balcony. You will observe a variety of birds chirping, interacting with each other, making this morning even more pleasant. Yes. I want to see more birds. So uh, this was all about uh, this session. So uh, tomorrow you will be learning about developing infographics. You will be introduced to a tool to develop infographics. Then you will also be learning uh, infographics and uh, then uh, uh, yeah, mind map. We will also introduce you uh, one tool for the development of mind maps, and the another one will be on uh, interactive resources. The interactive content, the video uh, of interactive content which I shown you, where you have seen uh, interactive content for various uh, subject areas in maths, EVS languages. Uh, was already shown and you will learn to create such uh, uh, interactive resources using a software called H5P. They are developed using H5P. 
so there will be a session on h5p so that you can learn creating all those interactive resources using drag and drop drop op option and uh, another aspect uh, another such content so the purpose of this session was to give you glimpses of various kind of e content so that you get more engaged to the session uh, which uh, will uh, be coming in these four days and learn how to create such resources uh, dr monica can we take uh, uh, questions if there are any although i have addressed uh, most question during the in between my session itself there was a question regarding the difference between image and diagram hmm. and cartoon and animation hmm. Uh, image, uh, one question is about what is the difference between image and diagram. Image can be a still image, like I have shown you the image of uh, the, the kitchen where, where some kitchen utensils were hidden and an image where sport uh, utensils were, uh, were hidden. Uh, we also uh, call photographs also are one uh, kind of images with which we added something, the learning, the research and learning to make them useful resource. But uh, diagrams are, uh, uh, are labeled diagrams, they are sketches. And the sketches labeled, like uh, I shown a diagram on waterfall formation. It was a sketch which was colored and was labeled to make you visualize the concept of waterfall formation by labeling different part of it and explaining the uh, concept of waterfall formation with the help of it. And then uh, cartoons and animations. Generally, we, uh, we, we, we also know cartoon uh, uh, animations as cartoons. So when our children watch uh, animations on cartoon network or cartoon channels, generally we know them as cartoons. Although cartoons are uh, caricatures of uh, the, uh, the, the real phenomena. So like uh, the cartoon which was portrayed uh, for uh, showing that uh, concept of extinction of species where dinosaur was shown. So that was actually a cartoon. And in the comic strip also, we used cartoon to create that comic strips. But animations are moving cartoons where movement is also there. Like I shown you in the, uh, uh, in the uh, uh, animation for uh, the, uh, uh, to uh, explain the concept of traffic lights. So there was a little movement also, like the uh, eyes of that girl was moving. The, we can uh, see uh, the pedestrians moving on the zebra crossing where there is also a movement. So then this, this is known as animations. Cartoons are still cartoons and with the help of cartoons, we can create animations. Also, question, simulation and animation. Uh, <clears throat> simulation, uh, may I have already uh, explained the uh, definition of animation uh, simulation. Wherever we want a 3D visualization of anything to comprehend and understand the concept, then simulation are used which can give you an exposure and idea of something which otherwise it's not possible to watch, like earth is spher spherical, the uh, internal organs of our body, the processes of, uh, uh, the, the process of digestion, the process of respiration, how our heart works. So it is not easy for each and every student to watch these phenomena. Uh, but a simulation can help uh, students watch 
the 3D visualization of such concept in a simulated environment. Simulation is near to real image of something, near to real explanation of something, near to real visualization of something. Like I gave you an example of a planetarium also, where you see the simulation of universe, where you see the simulation of solar system, galaxies, and other celestial bodies, which otherwise is not possible for everyone to see. Only astronaut can see parts of universe. But through simulation, we can make our children also watch uh, the, uh, the, how, how they appear. So uh, simulation is that. And animation, we can pick up any concept and create animation on that concept. But simulations are for 3D visualization of abstract phenomena. Anything else? Yeah, some questions are related to copyright. We have a full fledged uh, uh, session on copyright issues. So we will, you will get to learn all about licensing and copyright and intellectual property right in a specific session dedicated to it. So wait for that. So if there are no uh, more questions, uh, we can break for lunch. I will uh, be having one thank more you, session thank you, thank today, uh, towards the end. So maybe uh, it, it is also a related session. So maybe uh, then we can talk. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Very good questions asked. So that is thank how you, we make thank online so session interactive. So thank, thank you for you, raising very uh, good questions. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, on behalf of everyone for showing so many interesting types of digital resources and also ma'am demonstrated how you can access resources on FLN vertical and Thank now, you, we will, now we will break for lunch and we'll be back by 2 p.m before